My name's Rob Law, I'm uh, the inventor of the Trunky, now CEO of the business that's selling this product internationally, and today we're here at the Mothership. The Trunky's the original uh, ride-on suitcase for globe-trotting tots. It really kind of allows children to have responsibility for their possessions that they want to take on holiday, and it provides a great useful tool for them to play with while they're travelling through the airport and if their flight's delayed. The idea for Trunky, the ride-on suitcase, came to me while I was studying product design at the University of Northumbria. As a second year student, we entered a national luggage design competition. So really the idea came about when I was looking for inspiration. I noted that children's ride-on toys use a manufacturing technique that wastes a lot of space, whereas the adult technology that was used in suitcases, hard injection moulding, was maximising the space. So I thought, why not marry the two concepts together? It took me nine years to get the product actually in the marketplace. That wasn't full time, but uh, I had a lot of rejects along the way. Uh, luggage manufacturers told me that I'd invented a toy, and toy manufacturers told me that I invented a piece of luggage. And then when I finally got the product to market, luggage retailers thought I'd made a toy, and toy retailers thought I'd made a piece of luggage. So finding its position in the market was a real challenge. The most important element in, in good product design is really understanding your target c consumer or user and addressing their needs. That's absolutely fundamentally the most important thing. The one piece of advice I guess I'd give myself if I was to go back and do it all again would really be uh, not to try and focus on new product development once, once your product was out in the market and really spend your time making sure that's the best possible proposition for the market, that all your sales, marketing, literature, everything's all perfect uh, before you start getting sidetracked into trying to develop the next product. Obviously you need financial advice, you're going to need manufacturing advice, you're going to need uh, marketing advice, you'll need sales advice depending on the regulations your product has. Then you've got logistics, supply chain, uh, it's, it's everything within a business really so no one knows all that stuff to start with and you've got to go and find it out. So it always helps to have some advice along the way. Projects like Design Council Spark are, are really useful because they, they can help inventors, designers, entrepreneurs really find their way a lot quicker. I'd say to anyone who's got a, a, an idea that they've spent some time developing to really go for the Design Council Spark and access that support and mentoring and, and hopefully a bit of finance to help them really move this project forward and try and get it to market.